So this video is on what I, I might call crossing the veil or the threshold of uh, genius or uh, an aspect of moving beyond the need to codify. And a really common experience when you're developing from a meditative standpoint is this need to codify what we are experiencing in practice. Because as you start experiencing more and more profound type of uh, epiphanies in practice, we want to set them into form. We want to make them tangible. And also because maybe we haven't done the prerequisite work, we want to hold on to them, sustain them and make them permanent and everlasting. And this need to codify in and of itself can uh, be very helpful, but it will also detract from further practice, uh, detract from further growth, I should say. So a very interesting space to get into is one, where'd my friend go? Hey, you, you coming? I have a dog friend that I just met who just stopped following me. Ooh, look at this, nice view. Okay, so codification. When we codify stuff, we then get attached to it and we go, oh, I discovered this. This is what I figured out. Now, because I'm a me, I am a thing. I want to keep that thing in existence. And this new understanding is part of this thing I call me, uh, entrenching its own existence and building a foundation for itself. So in spiritual practice, the easiest place for this type of attachment, egoistic type of attachment to hide is within the spiritual practice itself. I practice so much. I do this. I do that. Look at me, blah, blah, blah. And I recognize the uh, contradiction as I'm saying this on a video to YouTube. Uh, but nevertheless, this is one way that the uh, attachment will hide itself, that this type of egoistic attachment will hide itself. And of course, there are good places uh, for ego to be expressed and explored. This is not a one-dimensional approach where ego is bad. But we do always want to look at what we're attaching to. And if we are attaching to our own epiphanies and our own growth in certain ways, and we try to codify them, it will be very difficult to move past that. Now the trick comes and this veil, we start to cross it. When we can observe an experience, we can in a sense codify it and watch a form arise around it as some semblance of a truth. And at the same time, have no attachment to that thing. So it doesn't hold us back. It is an interesting signpost along the way. Maybe a signpost that we return to maybe a signpost that is very helpful um, for others that we can return to for the purpose of others, but not one that we get stuck on and latch onto and try to entrench into forever existence. So again, crossing this veil of, of genius or openness is to be able to hold or observe any idea, any epiphany, let it come in, and not get stuck on it. Let it move, let it shift, let it evolve. And this allows us to explore any system, any idea, any style of development, any different exercise of any tradition without latching onto it and making an assumption that it is the best way to work things and the best way to evolve and practice. Everything is a tool. Everything is a tool. And this includes things like systems, at different exercises, different ideas, different forms of understanding that arise through practice. These are just tools. Let them come, let them go. Document them as needed and just observe them playfully. And this playful observation is one of those things that comes from an openness of the mind, an openness of perspective, an openness of the body that lets stuff come and go. It has to be playful and free. And 
as the openness and as the freedom develop, you will find that you start to instantly understand things much faster and more stuff, but I'm running out of breath. I spent too many days in airports and on planes. So, whew. okay, that's it, <laughs> bye.